Another robbery. Another insurance company pissed off. They're not all on our patch, but... Fuck it, why can't we catch these guys? Cowboys, as they've been dubbed boss. Dubbed? What the fuck does that mean? The definition of dubbed boss is to... Call them what you like, I want them. Ears to the ground, eyes to the street. Might not mean much to you, but when you can feel the handcuffs of retirement slipping around your wrists... I've got to get these guys. It might kill me, but I've got to do it. It will be at its minimum staff level. virus we released in the lobby last week worked. And the two new temp guards haven't had time to learn a system. Right, as is usual. I'm in first, test the water. No sign of me in 60, you enter. I do the security. off. Dispatch security, two of us infiltrate. I make the call. We escort the key holder to the safe. Exits are cleared by you. I'll take care of crowd control. I pull up to the entrance in three minutes, doors ajar. Key holder is secured, cargo in transit. Smoke is triggered by the door, cargo exits. Smooth drive away as the cavalry arrive. No shooting. Not if we can help it. And then what happened? If you want one, you should just take one. Sorry? <laughs> I don't smoke. You should never deny yourself something if you really want it. If you have the opportunity, just take it. My partner said he doesn't smoke. Could you just tell us what happened? That's when all hell broke loose. Thank the Lord you showed up. The gang entered, and then what? <laughs> Kills. You're gonna have to be a little bit more descriptive than that, love. You know, try and elaborate. Um, they... They came in the door when George was dealing with that madman in the raincoat. George Hardy was the security guard who was shot in the robbery. Yeah, that's right. Go on. Um, well, George, he didn't see them coming in through the door. They took him by surprise. They took everybody by surprise. I'm waiting in my car outside when, bang, I hear gunfire and screams. Uh, how many shots did you hear? I don't know. It's not something you count when it's happening, is it? But um, more than one. More than two? Uh, probably. It's important to remember, you see. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting for a friend, and then the next thing I know, it's happy hour in Beirut, so, you know, I wasn't counting. Oh, where exactly was your friend?
house when they came in? Yes. At what point were they aware you had a gun? Um, I don't know. I think it was uh, just after the security guard. George? Yes. George. William. William. After they saw his gun out. Who was it aimed at? Me, of course. Excuse me. Hello, Tyburn Security. Mrs. Jones. Well, I see the gems aren't the only beautiful things in here. I need you to open the safe. Hi, I'm from Gallo's Precious Gems. Of course, two, three, seven, gold. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know we've had a, a power failure here on some of the systems. No, there's no problem. It's all, it's all very quiet here. Rules of the game! Stay quiet, stay still, you live. Fuck around and you're dead. The police? No, I think they've got better things to do. <laughs> Absolutely, do call back. The, the phone lines seem unaffected. Certainly, uh, it's Mr. Rowe. I'm the manager here. You have the number. Thank you. Hello. Yes, this is Mr. Rowe. That's correct, yes. You might need to send an engineer. No, 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 no. I don't think it'll be necessary. Thank you so much. Slide that over to me, nice and gently, nice and gently. Good boy. Thank you for your time and patience, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, if any of you try to follow us, we've left a canister of poisonous gas by the door. Now, should our lookout spot any of you following us, she will release the gas. Say, Billy boy, another brilliantly executed plan. Brilliantly prepared plan. Yeah, no, no.
So, is there a girl in the gang? Several witnesses claim one of the gang mentioned one. She will let it off, as in poisonous gas. Which it wasn't, thankfully. The key doesn't belong to anyone at the gem house. How long do we find the locket fits? Well, I was told, and uh, I quote, forever and a day. We've got to follow these leads, but I get the feeling these guys are giving us the runaround. They're smart. Not necessarily all of them. There could be only one brain behind the planning here. Boss? When there's only one planner, things will fall apart. Let's work on that. Now, where next? And when? Soon. Anything we should know about? Just that it's coming together nicely. It's gonna be a big haul, this one. And my last. History tells us that eventually every gang will get sloppy and get caught. Fall out and get caught. Or retire and sometimes get caught. Which will it be? Well, I've had a good career. I feel I'm slipping a bit. It's a young man's game, isn't it, eh? Why do you always say this? Every time? It's bad luck to say that. No, 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 no. It's bad luck to walk under a ladder, to smash a mirror, or to kick a black cat. I've never heard anyone saying that I'm quitting. It's bad luck. Look, just don't say it, all right? Bound to get caught sometime. As long as you keep planning well, Billy, the police aren't even going to get near us. Just don't say it. Don't jinx it. Is it really bad luck to kick a black cat? You ever kicked one? No. Right, well, don't worry about it, then. Anyway, I would have want to quit, eh? Best gig in the world. You think we'll get them before they retire? We better add, Tom. I don't like walking away from open cases. Yeah, well, let's hope our luck changes then. Or their run of luck ends. Guys, call me on the next one. What are you spinning yours on then, Silver? Usual. Girls, girls, girls. How about you, Butch? Well, my mum's roof started leaking again, so I'll probably put some aside for that. You make sure you get yourself a proper builder, right? Get robbed blind by some of the cowboys out there. I'll give you my cousin's number. Is he a builder? You know, he's a fucking hat maker. Thought it might keep the rain off your mum's head. Milliner. What? The milliner. That's what they call a hat maker. Nice. Is your cousin a hat maker or a fucking builder, man? So when are we planning the next one, then? Monday. So he just left. Right, weirdo. Why did you want to do it? Are you married? No. 
You are? So you're the curmudgeon. Unmarried, solitary. Go with his hunches, against the rules. And they know you're the family man. Never putting a foot wrong. Doing everything by the book. And beaten to the result by the cocky young whippersnapper here. Whoa, don't judge a book by its cover, mate. Oh, I forgot. You also use cliches. Did you ever cheat on her? Well, please. No, I can't. I can't do it anymore. Helen, please, why not? Because I'm not happy. Because it's not going anywhere. Give it a chance, love. I have. I'm sorry it's over. Say hi to your wife for me. Another robbery, boss. Looks like it's the cowboys again. Don't worry. We'll get them before you retire. Give me a moment, I need to speak to someone. Of all the stupid ideas, why did you try and rob a bank? Did she ever cheat on you? No. Well, <laughs> you probably wouldn't know anyway. William, what the fuck are you on about? Fuck. You said it. Fuck! My wife cheated on me. She did it right in front of me with my boss. My fucking boss! And there was nothing I could do about it. Probably sat on my bed laughing about me now, like they always have. Look, I'm sorry to hear that, William, but we cannot condone your William. behavior. When someone you love cheats on you, it destroys you. Your whole body is confused, one big knotted mess. He doesn't need to know this. You want to know why I tried to rob the bank? Yes. I wanted to rob the bank to get some money. I wanted to pay her off, get her out of my life. I wanted to get out of my job. I wanted to get away from everything that reminded me of the two of them. And I wanted to do something in my life that people would sit up and take notice of. I wanted to prove I wasn't a failure. Ironic, isn't it? What is? The day I choose to rob this bank, someone else is robbing it, and I get caught. Well, I hope they die laughing in my bed. Tell us about your plan. My plan? Surely you just didn't run in there with a gun. You must have thought this through. No, oh, well, I've done my homework. I knew when the bank held the most cash. Cash? You were after the cash? Not cash. No. So what's to take then? We've got enough cash to bankroll this. And with the profit, we'll be able to have a nice holiday for a while. Holiday? This is hardly fucking work, is it? The more relaxed you guys get, the better chance we've got of getting caught. Stop cool. being such a bloody drama queen, Billy, and get on with a plan. All I'm saying We're is... not fucking idiots, Billy. We know you get lazy, you get caught. But right now, we're professionals. The day the adrenaline goes is the day we all walk away. No, the day the adrenaline goes is the day we fuck up. What are we going after? Why not cash? Look, there's more lower currency notes being put into circulation. Which equals more bags to carry out. Which equals more trips to the car. Which equals more time. Which equals better chance of us getting caught. Which equals I'm totally fucking lost. Oh, hang on. What are we taking? The me, Danny, nor. Does that come with rice? Does that come with rice? It's a big fucking emerald. Well, it's worth tens of millions, but we're being used as a holding area before it gets picked up. Which day? Tuesday. Tuesday? <laughs> it's not much time frame there. There's enough. It's a bit risky, though. Well, 
know it's a risk, but they've got dummy drops all over town and because we're low security, they shouldn't suspect a thing. Oh, no, no, they've, um, they're coming in in a normal delivery. I think it's, yeah, I think it's box 237. Well, because it's no bigger than the size of your fist. That shouldn't be too hard to carry out. Getting out's going to be the easy bit. Now it's jinxing things. It's getting to the back of the bank that's going to be the hard bit. Never had a problem before. Times are changing on the cusp of a new era. Yep. Motion detectors, time locks, early warning systems. Hang on. You're saying it's going to be harder. So what? We're good, aren't we? Harder or impossible. In a year or so, there's going to be no point going into a bank with a gun. See, the bad news is, the bank that Billy's talking about has just had a major new security refit. Yes, yes. I mean, George is just there for show, really. I mean, God knows what he's doing in a real robbery. Hang on, just give me one second, will you? Security. Here's a problem. Along with these normal systems, we've got a, an immediate response trigger installed at the police. But I can't tell you how it works. <laughs> because I don't know how it works. It's an early warning system. So, I mean, if anything out of the ordinary happens, the police are allowed straight away, even if a light bulb blows. It's a bit excessive, isn't it? Yeah, no one likes being robbed anymore. So I'm guessing the moment the cameras or the alarms are cut, the police are on the way. That's right. What's the minimum response time? Well, where we are, I think it's about 10 minutes, which I think is terrible. It's great for us. It's still not long to find it. Oh, Billy. <laughs> How much are we talking here? It's the main done in all. We can retire off on each of our own islands. Come on up. The large emerald you tried to steal. I keep telling you. I'll stop the bloke from robbing the place, that's all. Sure. What's his story, anyway? Can't wait for the weekend. William? 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 What is it? Said I can't wait for the weekend. And? I just thought you disturbed me to tell me that. I'm sorry, Raj, but information like that is not exactly golden, is it? None of us can wait until the weekend. None of us enjoy it here. We would all prefer to be at home than at work. Somebody drink that late last night? What's that? Nothing. Sorry, I forgot. Listen, whether I get laid or not, that's got nothing to do with you or anyone else here. Apart from the boss. I'm sorry, William, but I just think you're mad to let it carry on under your nose like that. How do you know? Come on. I asked you, how do you know? But everybody knows. What are you going to do about it? What do you mean? Well, I assume you're not happy about the situation. Would you like your wife to fuck the boss while you can't do anything about it? You won't fuck my wife. I don't even want to fuck my wife. But then again, I didn't choose her. Why can't you do anything about it? is my boss. Look, I'm not your age. I can't find another job this late in my career. Career? I've been promised area manager within the next three months. Everybody's been promised that job. Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. Even you? Yeah. Even me, the token Indian in the office. 
That's how we know it's bullshit. Bullshit, my friend. What's wrong? My wife's here. Just gonna sit there. Well, what would you do? I'd divorce her and I'd throw him out the fucking window. Well, I'm in the process of the former. And? How's it going? They only ever go one way. She's after the house. Yeah, but she's leaving you. Yeah, well, the house is in her name. Why? She bought it. I can buy my own fucking house. Connor. What are you going to do? <laughs> you are joking. Did someone put you up to this? <laughs> no. You're serious. I'm sorry. I, I thought that when you I said... want to speak to your superior. There's no need for that, sir. I genuinely thought it was a joke. Get me your manager. I do apologise, sir. Look, let's look at the figures again. I want to speak to your manager! Of course, sir. Uh, just wait here a moment, please. Problem? Just a bit. He wants to see Jacobs. All right, well, I'll go get him for you. Cheers. Seven, eight, nine. That's ten. Who is it? It's Samantha, sir. Come in. There's a problem with the customer. He's demanding to see the manager. I can carry on without you, sir. I'm sure I can trust you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, you just left. My right, weirdo. My dad always said if you're given an opportunity, you should take it. As long as you're not paid to stand around and chat, back to your till, Samantha. So who's the mastermind? Brains behind the operation. Sure ain't you. <laughs> you saying I'm stupid? Do I look stupid to you? Oh, so this time it was you who planned the bank job? No, not this time, no. So you admit that you've planned jobs before? No. I haven't done any bank jobs before. What are you on about? It's just your friends are all known bank robbers. My friends? What friends? Ah, oh, you got no friends. <laughs> OK. What friends of mine are bank robbers? Billy. I don't know anyone called Billy. Erp. Erp. What kind of name is that? Butch. Don't know anyone called Butch. Sounds like queer. That queer says you're the planner. No, not me. So, you're the planner. What? 
No. You do know what a planner is, right? No. Well, then how do you know you're not one, then? You were seen leaving the bank on Monday. What? Camera footage. Was it me? You were wearing these. Where'd you get those? Well, they were behind the till, so if you wouldn't mind, perhaps you can explain how they got there. Well, how did we get behind the tills? I have no idea. We've got a theory. So what are you doing tonight? Me? Yeah. I'm taking my girl out for a spot of dinner. And then after that, back to hers for a spot of a... This is the same girl still? Be a record for you. <clears throat> what is it you do for a living again? Taxi driver. Yeah, what does she do? I don't know. Don't you think that's a bit of a problem? I think she works in the office. You think? You hear that? Huh? It's that sort of slackness that's gonna get us all busted. Oh, give him a break, Billy. What do you talk about him if it's not work? Not a lot of talking gets done, if you know what I mean. This chick is dynamite. What are you doing with her? Gee, thanks a lot, big fella. No, I mean... Oh, shit, no. I mean, how did you meet her? Well, it's a funny thing, cos... Well, enough of it... this, we've got to get on with it. Right, as long as everything goes to plan, you follow me in after 60 seconds. I'll go around the back. At two minutes, I'll tap into the external phone lines and cook the alarm. Billy? What? What do you mean, what? You've forgotten the plan? How can I forget the plan? It's my plan. Hang on, what's all this about? Why do we always have to go through this? Everyone knows the plan, right? Let's get on with it, then. We're gonna miss our window? Yeah, we'll discuss this later. Better not fuck up. You better not fuck up. You'll make your dinner date. Why we didn't get to have our break together? So if you organise the rota next time, we can do it. We can have a tea break at the same time. All right, I'll do that fresh thing in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna go. Okay. See you tomorrow. Two girls, put your hands on the counter. Don't ask. No, he's on his own. We can still do this. What? Silver's cutting the alarm now, right? That is not a problem. But come on. Billy, this is our only chance. Hello. Now, sir, please put the gun down. 
You're not in charge here. Hey, get down, I said. I said get down or I will shoot. Sir, I don't... Is it loaded? <laughs> Your gun, is it loaded? Are you the police? It's a fucking fake. This is it. Congratulations. Ow! OK. Now, I realise you're all having quite a day. Try not to make it your last, eh? Now, we don't normally use guns. That doesn't mean to say we don't know how to. You can open a fucking door. The sooner you let us in, the sooner we go, and the sooner this lot can get some medical attention. Make sure it's the door, not the alarm. As we say, no one else gets hurt. You, come with me. You too, Angie. See if you're going to be in the main safe or... Yeah, or in the manager's personal safe. What do you want? Well, what do you fucking think? It wasn't in the safe, so it has to be in this. Empty. Bollocks. Jesus Christ. You got nothing on me. This ain't the movies, Earp, so stop talking in cliches. This ain't the movies, it's a cliche. Why don't you tell us what happened? Good cop, bad cop, that's a cliche. He says we're not both bad cops. Well, I won't argue with you there. Huh. You can't smoke in here. Oh, please, Mr. Copper. I promised to talk if you let me have a cigarette. <laughs> the 
this is such bullshit. You two don't like cliches, here's another evidence. You need it to prove something. Well, we've got you at the scene. With masks and weapons. They're not mine. <laughs> is that your defence? Well, go on and charge me. I didn't take anything, I hadn't done anything. Only because we showed up. <laughs> and you got there fucking quick as well. How did you do that? The alarms went off. We'd only been in there five minutes. We? How long do we normally take? Ten, if you're lucky. Now, how do you know that? Your friend said that you've robbed banks before. What friend? How many have you got? Who's framing me? You are. <laughs> you know, he's too young to be wasting his life like this. Oh, I guess he'll get used to jail. Mm. Oh, fuck you, yeah? Why am I going to jail? Because you robbed a bank today? No, I didn't. I tried to stop the bloke from robbing the place. I've got nothing. Neither are you. Don't count on it. So we took you out the back? Yes. Into the safe and then he tied me up. Why did he take you? What do you mean? No offence, honey, but you're just a cashier. Why didn't he take a supervisor? What are you getting at? That'll be all for now. Thank you. What are you doing here? I, um, I've been asked to give information. What are you doing here? Um, there was a robbery at the bank. Well, two, actually. Come on, pal. What's wrong? What did they ask you? Nothing. Just about what we were doing. We? You told them what I was doing? The thing is, we know you're lying. About what? Everything. We've been told you were doing a lot more than just waiting for a friend. What? What has she said? She. We'll get back to what she said in a minute. We want to talk about the security camera footage first. What footage? The footage of you opening a panel at the back of the bank. The panel that houses the exchange. The exchange box with the cut wires. And the cut wires which lead to the alarm system. You're lying. There was no footage, was there? No, there's no security footage. What puzzles me is, though, you said you were waiting at the front, but you don't deny being at the back of the bank cutting wires. And you seem so sure there's no camera footage. How could you possibly know that? Unless... <laughs> What is it? My boyfriend's in there. Your boyfriend? He's in there now, talking to them. Talking to them about what? Us. Me, I guess. Did you get the promotion? What? I was being sarcastic, Sam. I've been passed over as well, you know. Yeah, well, congratulations. There's no point getting angry. You know about the glass ceiling in this place by now. Angie, I... Look I'm... at the facts. 
How long have you worked here, Sam? Too long. Do you know how to work the tills? The floor? The back room? Yeah. Security? Yeah. I know everything that there is to know. Mm hmm You're not going to get that job unless you have a sex change. You just have to take a look at everyone else above you. They're all men. Yeah, but it's not fair. No, it's not fair, honey. So if you want to get a career, join another bank. Better mood today? <laughs> yeah, slightly. Good. Um, how's the book? Good. Uh, what's that about? Oh. Um, it's uh, it's about this some master thief who. And he steals from really massive mansions. And one day he goes into a mansion and he sees loads of pictures of the woman who lives there and he falls madly in love with her. Wow, well, what happens next? Well, they get it together, but he's having a lot of trouble hiding what he does for a living. Yeah, well, <laughs> those secrets are hard to keep. Any luck with the job search? Oh, God, no, there's nothing out there. I guess I'm just gonna have to stay here for the time being. Even though the money is so crap. The money's not crap, it's the amount you get paid that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, well, there's nothing I can do about that, is there? Well, it's worth tens of millions, but we've been used as a holding area before it gets picked up. Tuesday. Yeah, I know it's a risk, but they've got dummy drops all over town, and because we've no security, no one should suspect a thing. But no, no, they've, um, they're coming in in a normal delivery. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's box 237. Well, because it's no bigger than the size of your fist. Yes, yes. I mean, George is just there for show, really. I mean, God knows what he'd do in a real robbery. Hang on, just give me one second, will you? How do we steal a big emerald? Do I have your interest? Not with a bank does. Exactly. So are you in? <laughs> Only if we can get away with it. Why do you want to do this? <sighs> the money. To get back at them and... Because we can get away with it. Mm-hmm. Are we going to get away with it? Don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? You... Samantha, I don't know. Well, you had all the answers before. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. And you were the one. It was your idea to steal the emerald. Oh, and it was your idea to cut the camera and the alarms and make it look as if someone had broken in. I knew it could be done, but you knew how it could be done. Listen, it's my name on the fucking envelope, so why don't you just relax? Billy? Coffee? Yeah, sure. Have you got the envelope? Yes. Is it big enough? Yes. The stamps? Have you got some? Samantha, will you just calm down? Sorry, I'm just really excited and nervous and... Listen. 
You've planned this brilliantly, and it's in progress. We can do it, okay? Have you seen Samantha? No. So when do we tell him that the alarms are down? We're not going to tell him anything, will you? Just relax. Sorry, I've just... I've got a horrible feeling that something's going to go wrong. What could possibly go wrong? I said put your hands on the counter or I'm going to start shooting people! Now! How should I know? Well, what is he, a cop? No. What, a criminal then? No. You set me up, didn't you? What? So they aren't your sunglasses. Come in! Well, go get it! You're not going to believe this, boss. What? I wonder if there's anything in here for you. Well, is there? Now, Samantha's told us about your involvement. It was her fucking idea that yeah, I... Yeah, we know all about that. Just tell us how the cowboys were involved. Cowboys. The cowboys. Your boyfriend's little gang. Gang? It's going to be a very long night if you persist in one word questions. You mean the taxi drivers? Taxi drivers? What? Was that another gang? Is Silver involved with more than one crew? I don't know what you're talking about. Your boyfriend is a getaway driver for a bunch of criminals. You really didn't know? Where is it? Is it not there? Angie! Where is it? I don't know! You're back to lying again. Have you any idea how much that emerald is worth? Millions. When's that? Tuesday is a bit risky, isn't it? Dummy drops is a good idea, but it's going to be a little bit obvious if the bank is taking in special deliveries. Normal packages, how's it going to fit into that? Fist? <laughs> Don't get much for your millions these days, do you? What about your security guards? <laughs> Probably shoot himself in the foot. <laughs> what, uh, what extra measures have you taken? Yeah, sure. Thomas, 
Get me one of those, would you? Get it yourself. I'm on the phone to the bank. Well, when they've given you your millions, you can pay me to make us both a cup of coffee, can't you? Or you could respect my rank. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> what was I saying? Hi, yeah, security. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got normal systems. We've installed a, an immediate response trigger to the police, so... Really? How does that work? Well, I can't tell you how it works. Why not? <laughs> because I don't know how it works. Oh, tell me about it. I can't even set my new VCR. Listen, back to the bank. What's the response time when the alarm's been triggered? Ten minutes? Well, that's pretty good going for us. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can do. I'm uh, I'm in court Monday, but I'll send someone round. Don't panic. You'll be as reliable as me. Yeah, I'll be there Tuesday. Everyone on the floor! I have a gun! Down! Get down on the floor! Down! No, not you. Stay up. Up, you up. No, 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 no. Bank staff, stay up. Hands on the counter. Customers, down on the floor! What about me? That's what I was going to say. This is a real gun. So is this. Sir, you're scaring these people. Why? No one's pointing a gun at them. I'll put it down if you put yours away, sir. <laughs> no one's ever called me sir until now. And it's because I've got a gun. Shit. Hey, you two girls, put your hands on the counter. I said, put your hands on the counter, or I'm going to start shooting people. Now! Sir, please put the gun down. You're not in charge here. Don't ask. No, he's on his own. We can still do this. What? Silver's cutting the alarm now. Like that. He's not a problem. But, God. Billy, this is our only chance. No, but no. Hey, get down, I said. I said, get down or I will shoot. Sir, I you don't... You can shut up. Oh, God, are you all right? Well, I doubt it. Is it loaded? <laughs> Your gun, is it loaded? Are you the police? Hey, hey! Take your fucking hand out of that case! Uh. <laughs> oh, it's a fake. It's a fucking fake. This isn't! Congratulations. Ah! OK. Now, I realise you're all having quite a day. Try not to make it your last, eh? <coughs> now, we don't normally use guns. That doesn't mean to say we don't know how to.
can open a fucking door. Well, the sooner you let us in, the sooner we go, and the sooner this lot can get some medical attention. Make sure it's the door, not the alarm. Right, all of you. We do as we say, no one else gets hurt. You, come with me. You too, Angie. What do you want? Well, what do you fucking think? I know where the safe is. So where's the key? Thank you. I'm a police officer. Can you open this door, please? Right. So we've agreed the emerald isn't in either safe. Yeah, well, it must be on site now. Well, obviously, the information you got was wrong, so we need to get out of here. No. We've come this far. Don't push it, Billy. Look, we search all the other rooms, all right? Angie. Angie Lawson. OK, Angie. Do you know where? They've come into the manager's office. Wait here. Go get out of there. Someone else has cut the alarm. What? Well, you said the police could be out there now? Potentially. Where? What happened to me? Where are they? Haven't you called them yet? Hang on, hang on, hang on. They're in the manager's office. And we can still get out of this. What fucking happened to me?
bloody hell is going on here? Oh, it's been quite a day. What's happened to your dad? Police officer. Whoa, lads. He's flying squad. Arrest these guys and that one. What? I'm near, boss. Long story. We're OK. We're charging you with attempted robbery, possession of firearms. And after we get a warrant to search your premises, I'm sure more charges will follow. We know you're the getaway driver. You can't prove it? Not yet. Be careful, though. Conspiracy. Since the Emerald can't be found, the evidence isn't solid enough that you actually sent it to yourself, so we can only charge you with conspiracy. But if it turns up, you'll go down for a lot longer. I'm sorry to do this, William, but we have to charge you with attempted robbery and possession of a firearm. Interview terminated at 9.32. So. Can you give us a minute? Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Will. Everything's going to be OK. I'm going to jail. You'll be out before you know it. I'll see to that. Yeah, but then what, what, what future have I got? If I can't look after my big brother, what sort of a man am I, eh? Everything's gonna be okay. I'll make sure of that. I've got nothing. You will have. Trust me. Have you ever heard anything as crazy as what we heard tonight? Nope. I mean, how the fuck do these things happen? Coincidence. Nah, it's got to be more to it than that. What? Everything happens for a reason. If you were given an opportunity, did you take it? What opportunity? If you had a chance to make your life better, would you do it? To a certain extent, yeah. Yeah. Where do you draw the line? I wouldn't break the law, if that's what you mean. What? Oh, sorry, I was just waiting for you to burst out laughing. <laughs> So you wouldn't cross the line. I mean, nobody's going to get hurt. You wouldn't cross it. Well, I'm a police officer. Why would I? Everybody has his or her price. So you're saying you would? Ha! <laughs> Take it easy, man. 
Just wanted to see if you'd have a drink on duty. Oh, fuck me, boss. You have me going there. <laughs> to a job well done. Yeah, but not complete. We've gone as far as we can. But what about the emerald? It's out there, somewhere. Riles me. I had this thought. Maybe Angie and Silver are working together. Maybe. We'll keep an eye on him, see if he's going to pick up her mail. It's out there. And nobody knows where. I'm sure someone does. Thank you. 